You say it's fascinating, and yet I can see that it disturbs you, doesn't it? There's a few things that I'd like to discuss with you. You know, just an existential dilemma or two. And you can exercise in demons, no keeping secrets. Cold cup of coffee, a few more cigarettes. God only knows the roads I've been down. Educate me now. I'm willing to work within your metaphor. Before you fell, you were known as Semiel. The light man. I think people come here to reinvent themselves. And I think that's why you're here. To reinvent yourself. Who are you trying so hard to become? I am second guessing your skills as a therapist. My pockets, but I've felt no change in years. I've yes, if you'd fixed my existential problem earlier, none of this would have happened. I need a higher calling to get me out of bed. But God only knows the roads I've been down. I need you to be honest with me. Completely honest about who you are. What's wrong with the doctor is in. You could show her your true face. But you don't. Why is that? Do you think it's because you might be afraid of how she might react? Because you care that much about what she thinks of you? Well, I didn't know I was dealing with the most power. Well, the most dysfunctional family in the universe. Maybe we should explore the possibility that being vulnerable can be a good thing. No, it can't. It means you're at someone else's mercy. But you jumped in front of it anyway. Yes. And I would do it again. And again. Don't you know that, Detective? something rotten inside of me. I found it near impossible to drown out the constant cacophony of voices whispering in my ear, telling me I am evil. I'm drowning, Doctor. And I can't stop asking myself, why do I hate myself so much? I'm cured. Isn't that wonderful?